In Ishmael, Daniel Quinn takes a subject just like me. He wants to change the world, but he doesn't realize that he's unaware of a vision that he's participating in that is actually destroying the world. Here's a story, a true story, to show just who we've become. Once there was a native tribe that lived in peace and harmony for thousands of years, and every day the routine was the same. Hunters would go out from the tribe, and when they returned, the bounty from the hunt was shared equally by all members of the tribe. No one went hungry when food was available, not even the weak, the sick, or the elderly. One day, the most skilled hunter said, I'm the best hunter. I kill more than my share of deer. Why should I share the bounty of my hunt? And from that day forward, he began storing his meat in a high mountain cave. And then other skilled hunters said, we kill more than our share of deer too. Shouldn't we have the right to keep the bounty of our hunt? And they too began to store their meat in high mountain caves. And then something began to happen in the tribe that had never happened before. Some people, especially the old, the weak, and the sick, began to go hungry while others were well fed. In fact, it became so commonplace that no one even thought it unusual that some were starving while others had more than what they needed. And what's even more strange, the tribal elders began to teach their young to emulate the hoarding habits of these few. Now that story isn't true because it happened. It's true because it's happening. We are that tribe. I am that tribe. Nature is very clear on this. In fact, there's one fundamental law that all of nature obeys that mankind breaks every day. Now this is a law that's evolved over billions of years and the law is this. Nothing in nature takes more than it needs. And when something does, it becomes subject to this law and it dies off. An ocean, a rainforest, the human body are all cooperatives. A redwood tree doesn't take all of the soil's nutrients, just what it needs to grow. A lion doesn't kill every gazelle, just one. We have a term for something in the body when it takes more than its share. We call it cancer. So that was a shock. That was a, a shock to me. That I was a part of that cancer because I wanted to be part of the healing. It's a real challenge for a culture that's confronting a what to co-infected culture because you can either allow them to destroy you, you can run, which many groups did, or you can become them. The fourth option that many people of ancient tribal cultures hope for is that you can heal the people of their mental illness. Some notion that I think a lot of people have, maybe most people have, that war has something to do with human nature. That war comes out of some fundamental human instinct or violence, aggression, retribution, revenge, whatever. But I don't believe that at all. And I don't think there's any evidence of biological, genetic, anthropological, psychological, no evidence to indicate that war comes out of some innate human need.